You also mentioned Rob and Moak coming back. How did they all, everybody come back together? Um, I mean, we've kept in touch over the years, even though we were off doing different things and whatnot. And I think the idea was, you know, Otep was kind of like, you know, what would, hey Jay, what would you think if we tried to write a song with those guys and whatnot? And I was like, you yeah, know, why not? Let's see, let's see what comes about, you know? And then that one song turned into another song, into another song, into another song. And, it, and we were gelling and working so well together. It's like, why interrupt something that's working this well and this easily? So we just kept going with it. And I mean, we were spending six days a week, 14 hours a day in the studio, writing and recording music for a month straight. And we got the whole record pretty much done musically. And we took the next month to do vocals and fine tune all the other stuff. And so two months, write, record it, and, and everything. It was a pretty intense system and a pretty intense time, so. Everything worked out. Yeah, usually you get all this time to sit back and relax. And, no, we took all that element out and it was, this is there's a release date, let's get to it. And we know we have it in us and we definitely did. Do you think you worked better under that kind of pressure? Sometimes, I mean, I, you know, you could spend all day going, well, what if, and what if, and what if, and what if. And sometimes you just have to really understand yourself so well that there is no what if. You know that this is pretty much where it's gonna be, you know, but it's, it's nice to kind of apply that pressure to you because then you really force yourself to work as hard as you can and to get the most out of you as quickly as possible and to play your best. And, and the only way to be able to do that is if you prepare your own individual skills before you get in there. And that was what we're all about. It's not just sitting back and going, all right, I'll just figure it out when I get there. It's I'm there, I'm gonna write, and I've been working for this moment my whole life. Um, the music video for the album's title track was just released. Yes. Uh, a lot of, did you do that all on a green screen? Yes. And yeah. Paul Brown is a genius with green screen. PR Brown is the guy who's done the majority of our videos, everything from Warhead, uh, Buried Alive, Confrontation, um, what else we had? Breed he also did, and then he did Smash Control Machine, and he's just done some, and he does such a great job of visually making us look wonderful, and then the, all, the other imagery that comes around us, putting us in the control machine and all that stuff, and he's just one of my favorite people ever. <laughs> And I have so much fun working with him, and apparently he likes working with us, so I uh, hope to continue that relationship. Uh, you mentioned Breed, that was your Nirvana cover. Are there yeah. any other songs you wanted to cover? Um, it, for me, it was, on, it was a little interesting, because I was always like, well, I cover a song when we could just write one. But Otep brought that idea there, and I was just like, you know, you're right, we've written a lot of songs, so why not pay homage and, and have some fun with this song? It's not like, you know, so we, we put our little twist to it and you know made it a little bit more aggressive and, and whatnot but it was it was definitely a lot of fun and it's just hard to think of covering other stuff if it would be it'd probably be a door song <laughs> you know, or something like that but on this album it just felt fitting to just get out our message again maybe the next record we'll do another cover or something like that but it's definitely been a fun song to play live and it, and it it's fitting due to the fact of the conditions of the band no one's ever going to see Nirvana again but they know how much OTEP and the band respect Nirvana as a band, so why not see a band like us cover a song like that in true respect to what they already did. So the fans seem to have a blast when we play it live, and we have a blast playing it live, so I was glad that we actually did it. Uh, I know OTEP does poetry and stuff on the side. Do you have anything that you do? Uh, I teach. I teach private bass lessons. I'm an instructor in that. I, I might as well utilize my bachelor's degree in performing arts. So right. I was actually a, Bo a Boston boy, Berkeley College of Music. Uh, grew up in Connecticut, so being in Providence right now isn't too far from home for me. But yeah, I teach and I also utilize my size and do some security bouncing work as well. But yeah, I'm mainly focusing on teaching because I just really love inspiring and then handing off and right, passing off the knowledge that I've learned and, and earned. And it's been a lot of fun and, and my students are doing really well and they're excited when I go on tour and seeing videos and stuff. So it's it's a nice fuel for their fire as well. How's the bouncing work? You gotta see a lot of interesting characters. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's 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 not even like I used to do some venue security where it was like mosh pit stuff and now I actually work at a little more upscale bar called the Del Rey. It's on first and battery in Seattle, Washington. But uh, it's it's adult babysitting. And, yeah. it, and it's really cool. I mean, the, the, the clientele are really cool, and they, they're, they're slowly but surely figuring out who this weird ball tattoo guy is. 
because they're more upscale business people and they find out I'm in a band, I, I'll disappear and tour and come back, where were you? Well, I just toured the country. Doing what? Playing in a band? No way. So it's it's been, it's fun and I am also one of those guys that just, I'm always watching people. So I get to be paid people watcher, which I like that. Uh, what else is left for the band? Um, <clears throat> world domination. But that's always a consistent for us. But uh, you know, right now we have this tour. We're going to finish that up in Seattle at the Bumbershoot Festival on September 5th. And a few weeks off for a little breather. And then we're out with Shadows Fall and Five Finger Death Punch and Two Cents. And we're going to be traveling the U.S. again and in support of our new record. And then both Shadows Fall and Five Finger Death Punch are dropping their new records on the tour. So you know, it's like we have that going for us right now. And you know, we're just slowly seeing how the, 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 the populace is receiving our new record. And so far it seems like it's going really well. And we're hoping that that momentum continues to go forward and we all get to grow as a band and fans together. Do you have any closing remarks? Um, keep music real and art saves. There we go.